Let's welcome Bob Kuhn. Hi folks, I'm from the Deep South. Um, if you have trouble with my accent at the moment, you'll have more trouble in a minute. Imagine, if you will, you're on the streets of Melbourne in Australia. It's a hundred years ago. I'd like to introduce to you a young street tough and his girlfriend, Doreen. This is the sentimental bloke, and this piece is called simply The Play. What's in a name, she says, and then she sighs and clasps her little hands and rolls her eyes. A rose, she says, be any other name, would smell the same. Oh, wherefore art you, Romeo, young sir? Chuck your old pot and change your moniker. <laughs> Doreen and me, we went to see a show. The swell two dollar touch, bong tong, you know. A chair apiece with velvet on the seat, a slap up tree. The drama's writ be Shakespeare years ago about a balmy goat called Romeo. <laughs> Lady beyond a moon, I swear, says he. And then he climbs up on the balcony. And there they smooch a treat with pretty words like two love birds. <laughs> I nudge Doreen. She whispers, ain't it grand? <laughs> her eyes is shining and I squeeze her hand. What's in a name, she says. Struth, I don't know. Billo is just as good as Romeo. She may be Julio or Juliet. He loves her yet. If she's the tart he wants, then she's his queen. Names never count. But, ah, uh, I like Doreen. <laughs> A sweeter, dearer sound I never heard. There's music hangs around that little word, Doreen. <laughs> but what was this I starts to say about the play? I'm off me beat. But when a bloke's in love, his thoughts turn away like a omen dove. This Romeo, he lurks with a crew, a dead tough crowd of crooks, called Montague. <laughs> His cliners push what's nicknamed Capulet, they as him set. Fair narcs they are, just like them backstreet cliques, except they fight with skewers instead of bricks. What's in a name? What's in a string of words? They scraps in old Verona with their swords and never give up loco stray dogs chance, and that's romance. But when they deals it out with bricks and boots in little lun, they're low, degraded brutes. <laughs> What's just plain stooch with us here, right here today, is valor if you're far enough away. Sometime, some writer bloke will do the trick with ginger mitt of Spadger's Lane. He'll be a Romeo when he's been dead 500 years or so. Fair Juliet, she gives her boy the tip. Says she, don't sling that card of mine, no lip. And if you run again a Capulet, just do again. He swears he's done with Lash. He'll chuck it clean. Same as I done when I first met Doreen. They smooch some more at that. Oh, strike me blue. It gives me Joes to sit and watch them too. <laughs> He'd break away and start to say goodbye. And then she'd say, Oh, Romeo! <laughs> and get a strangle alt and hang around him like she feared he'd bolt. <laughs> Next day, he words a gospel cove about a secret wedding and they plan it out. He spouts a beast about him, how he's bewitched. Then they get itched. Now, Here's the place where I fair get the pip. She's his for keeps, and yet he lets her slip. Oh, but it makes me sick, a fair gazob. He's just the glassy for the soulful sob. He'll sigh and spruik and howl a lovesick vow. The silly cow. <laughs> but when he's got her spliced and on the straight, he cruels the bitch and tries to kid its fate. Oh, fade me foot, 
instead of sloping soon as he was weird off on his honeymoon, him and his cobber, called Mick Curio, <laughs> they have to go and mix it with this crowd of Capulets. They look for trouble and it's what they get. A tub named Tybal, cousin to the skirt, <laughs> sprags them and makes to swing off dirt. Next minute there's a real old ding-dong go, half round or so. Mick Curio, he gets it in the neck. Oh, rats, he says and passes in his check. <laughs> Quite natural, Romeo gets wet as hell. It's me or you, he owls, and with a yell, plunks Tybalt through the gizzard with his sword. Our eye on cord. <laughs> put in the boot, I says, put in the boot. <laughs> Ash, says Doreen. Shame, <laughs> says some silly coo. <laughs> then Romeo, he don't know what to do. The cops get busy like they always do, and nose around until he gets blue funk and does a bunk. They want, they want his tart to wed some other guy. Oh, strike, she says. I wish that I could die. <laughs> now, this here gospel bloke's a bit shrewd, eh? Says he'll dope you, so I'll think you're dead. He tips he was a cunning sword or two. What knew a thing or two? She takes his knockout drops up in her room. They think she's snuffed and plant her in a tomb. <laughs> Then things get mixed up a treat and starts to whirl. Here's Romeo comes back and finds his girl tucked in her little coffin, cold and stiff. And in a jiff, he swallows Lysol, throws a fancy fit. Head over turkey and his soul is flipped. Then Juliet wakes up and sees him there, turns on the waterworks and tears her hair. Dear love, she says, I cannot live alone. And with a moan, she grabs his pocket knife and ends her cares. Peanuts or lollies, says the boy upstairs. 